Right now, in this very moment, you're on the verge of something extraordinary. You can feel it, can't you? That tingling sensation in your body, that spark of excitement in your mind, it's not just hope or wishful thinking, it's the undeniable truth that everything you've ever dreamed of is about to manifest in your life. I know what you're thinking. How can he be so certain? Well, let me tell you why. It's because you're here right now listening to these words. You've taken the first step, opened yourself up to the possibility that your life can transform, that you have the power to shape your reality. And that, my friends, is where it all begins. Think about it for a moment. Every great achievement, every breakthrough, every transformation in human history started with a single thought. A thought that said, what if? What if I could fly? What if I could cure this disease? What if I could create a device that connects people across the world? These thoughts, these sparks of possibility are the seeds of every reality we experience. But here's the kicker. You don't need to be an Einstein or a Steve Jobs to harness this power. You already have it within you. Right now, as you hear my words, your brain is firing off millions of electrical impulses. These impulses create patterns, and these patterns shape your reality. It's not magic. It's science. It's the incredible power of your mind at work. Let me break it down for you in simple terms. Your thoughts create your feelings. Your feelings drive your actions, and your actions shape your reality. It's a cycle, a loop that's always in motion. And the best part, you have the power to control it. Think about the last time you felt genuinely happy. Maybe you got a promotion, fell in love, or finally mastered that skill you'd been working on. Remember how that felt? That rush of joy, that sense of accomplishment? Now here's the million dollar question. What if you could feel that way all the time? What if you could tap into that state of being whenever you wanted? That's what we're talking about when we say everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest. It's not about waiting for good things to happen to you. It's about creating the conditions for those good things to happen. It's about rewiring your brain to focus on possibility instead of limitation. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but Joe, you don't know my life. You don't know my struggles. And you're right, I don't. But what I do know is this, your past does not define your future. Your current circumstances are not your destiny. They're simply the result of thoughts and actions you've taken up until this point. And if thoughts and actions got you here, then new thoughts and new actions can take you somewhere else. Let's do a little experiment right now. I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath. Now think about something you truly want in your life. Maybe it's a new job, a loving relationship, better health or financial abundance. Whatever it is, see it clearly in your mind. Feel what it would be like to have that thing right now. Let that feeling wash over you. Open your eyes. How do you feel? Excited? Hopeful? Maybe a little scared? That's okay. That's your brain beginning to rewire itself. That's the first step towards manifesting your desires. You see, when you focus on what you want with clarity and emotion, you're sending a powerful signal to your brain. You're telling it, this is important. This is what we're working towards. And your brain, being the incredible machine that it is, starts to look for ways to make that vision a reality. It's like when you buy a new car and suddenly you start seeing that same model everywhere. The cars were always there, but now your brain is tuned to notice them. In the same way, when you focus on your desires, your brain starts to notice opportunities that were always there, but you might have overlooked before. But here's the thing. It's not enough to just think about what you want. You have to feel it, embody it, and become the person who already has what you desire. This is where many people stumble. They say they want change, but they keep thinking, feeling, and acting in the same old ways. Remember, your body doesn't know the difference between a real experience and one that you vividly imagine. When you consistently think and feel as if your desire has already manifested, your body starts to believe it. And when your body believes it, it begins to change on a cellular level. This isn't just feel-good talk. This is backed by science. Studies have shown that our thoughts and emotions have a direct impact on our biology. Positive thoughts and emotions can boost our immune system, reduce stress, 
and even influence our gene expression. On the other hand, negative thoughts and chronic stress can literally make us unwell. So when I say everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest, I'm not just trying to motivate you. I'm inviting you to embrace a new way of being. I'm challenging you to break free from the habits and patterns that have held you back. Think of it this way. Every morning when you wake up, you have a choice. You can either run the same mental program you've been running for years, or you can decide to install a new one. You can wake up and immediately start worrying about everything that might go wrong, or you can wake up and focus on all the amazing possibilities ahead. It's not always easy, I acknowledge that. Our brains are wired to look for problems, to focus on what's wrong instead of what's right. It's a survival mechanism from our caveman days. But we're not running from saber-toothed tigers anymore, and we're not struggling for basic survival. We have the luxury of choosing our thoughts, of directing our focus. So how do we do it? How do we make the shift from living in lack to living in abundance, from focusing on what we don't want to focusing on what we do want? It begins with awareness. You have to become conscious of your thoughts, your feelings, your habitual reactions. You have to catch yourself when you're falling into old patterns. Here's a simple practice you can start right now. Every time you catch yourself thinking a negative thought or feeling a negative emotion, stop. Take a deep breath and then ask yourself, what do I want instead? If you're thinking, I'll never get that promotion, stop and ask, what would it feel like to be confident in my abilities and valued at work? If you're feeling lonely, ask yourself, what would it feel like to be surrounded by loving, supportive relationships? This simple shift in focus can start to transform your entire reality because remember, what you focus on expands. If you focus on lack, you'll see more lack. If you focus on abundance, you'll start seeing abundance everywhere. But it's not just about positive thinking. It's about aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions. It's about becoming so focused on your vision that you naturally begin taking actions that move you towards it. It's about living as if your desires have already manifested. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to become financially abundant. It's not enough to just think, I want more money. You have to start feeling abundant now. You have to begin acting as if you're already financially secure. This doesn't mean going out and spending money you don't have. It means shifting your relationship with money. Instead of constantly worrying about bills, start appreciating the money you do have. Instead of saying, I can't afford that, start saying, how can I afford that? Instead of focusing on lack, focus on opportunities to increase your wealth. Start educating yourself about finances. Look for ways to add more value to the world. The same principle applies to any area of your life. If you want better health, start feeling healthy now. Start making choices as if you're already the healthiest version of yourself. If you want a loving relationship, start feeling loved now. Start treating yourself and others with the love and respect you desire. This is what I mean when I say everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest. It's not about waiting for some external event to change your life. It's about changing your inner world so profoundly that your outer world has no choice but to reflect that change. Now I know some of you might be thinking, but Joe, I've tried positive thinking before and it didn't work. To that I say, did you really try it? Did you commit to it fully? Did you practice it consistently day after day, even when you didn't see immediate results? Manifesting your desires isn't about wishful thinking. It's not about saying a few affirmations and then going back to your old ways of thinking and being. It's about fundamentally changing who you are at a neurological and biological level. It's about creating new neural pathways in your brain, new patterns of thought and behavior. This takes time, it takes practice, and it takes persistence. But here's the good news. Every time you choose a new thought, every time you choose a new emotional state, you're literally rewiring your brain. You're creating new neural connections, and the more you do this, the easier it becomes. Think of it like working out. The first time you go to the gym, it's hard. Your muscles ache, you get tired quickly. But if you keep at it day after day, week after week, it gets easier, you get stronger, you build endurance. 
The same thing happens with your mind. The more you practice directing your thoughts and emotions, the stronger your mental and emotional muscles become. And here's the truly exciting part. As you start to change, as you begin to embody the person who has already achieved their desires, the universe begins to respond. Opportunities start to arise. Synchronicities begin to occur. It's not magic. It's simply that you're now tuned into these opportunities, operating on a different frequency. I've witnessed this countless times in my workshops and seminars. People who have struggled for years with health issues, relationship challenges, or financial difficulties suddenly experience breakthroughs. Why? Because they finally aligned their thoughts, feelings, and actions with their desires. They became the person who could receive what they had been asking for. Let me share a story with you. There was a woman in one of my workshops who had been struggling with chronic pain for over a decade. She had tried every medical treatment available, but nothing seemed to work. During the workshop, she decided to fully commit to the belief that she was already healed. Every day, she would spend time visualizing herself pain-free, feeling the joy and freedom of a healthy body. At first, nothing seemed to change, but she persisted. She refused to let her current reality dictate her thoughts and feelings. Then, after a few weeks, something remarkable happened. Her pain started to diminish. She began to have more energy. Her doctors were amazed at the improvement in her condition. Now, I'm not saying she cured herself through positive thinking alone. What I am saying is that by changing her mental and emotional state, she opened herself up to healing. She reduced her stress levels, which had a positive impact on her immune system. She started moving more, which improved her circulation and reduced inflammation. She became more open to trying new treatments that she might have dismissed before. This is the power of aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desires. It's not about denying reality or pretending that problems don't exist. It's about choosing where to put your focus and energy. It's about creating a new reality from the inside out. So how do you begin? How do you start this process of manifesting everything you've ever wanted? It starts with getting clear on what you truly desire, not what you think you should want, not what others expect of you, but what truly lights you up inside. Take some time to really think about this. If you could wave a magic wand and create your ideal life, what would it look like? How would you feel? What would you be doing? Who would you be sharing your life with? Get as specific as possible. Write it down. Create a vivid picture in your mind. Once you have this vision, start to embody it. Start living as if it's already your reality. This doesn't mean quitting your job if you want to be an entrepreneur or leaving your partner if you want a better relationship. It means bringing the energy of your desired reality into your current life. If you want to be an entrepreneur, start thinking like one. Start looking for opportunities to solve problems and add value. If you want a better relationship, start being the kind of partner you want to attract. Start treating yourself and others with love and respect. At the same time, begin clearing out anything that doesn't align with your vision. This might mean letting go of limiting beliefs, toxic relationships, or habits that no longer serve you. It could also mean facing some uncomfortable truths about yourself and your life. Remember, growth happens outside of your comfort zone. Another crucial aspect of manifesting your desires is gratitude. Gratitude is like a magnet for miracles. When you're grateful for what you have, you open yourself up to receiving more. Start each day by listing three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. It could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a comfortable bed, or a beautiful sunset. As you practice gratitude, you'll begin to notice more and more things to be grateful for. You'll start seeing the abundance that already exists in your life, and as you focus on abundance, you'll attract more of it. Now, I want to address something important. This process of manifesting your desires, of creating a new reality, isn't always smooth sailing. There will be challenges, there will be setbacks, there will be days when it feels like you're not making any progress. This is normal. It's part of the process. In fact, these challenges are often signs that you're on the right path. They are opportunities for growth, for learning, for becoming even stronger in your new way of being. When you encounter these challenges, don't give up. 
Don't slip back into old patterns of thinking and behaving. Instead, see them as opportunities to prove to yourself and to the universe that you're dedicated to your new reality. Remember, the universe doesn't respond to what you say, it reacts to what you feel and what you do. So even in the face of obstacles, keep feeling and acting as if your desires have already manifested. Keep that vision alive in your mind. Here's a powerful secret. Learn to love the process. Don't just focus on the end goal, find joy in the journey. Because the truth is, once you achieve one desire, you'll have new ones. It's in our nature as human beings to always grow, to always expand. So, if you can learn to love the process of growth and transformation, you'll constantly be in a state of joy and fulfillment. You'll always be manifesting your desires because you'll be in alignment with the natural flow of life. Now, I want to circle back to where we started. I said that everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest. And now you understand why I can say that with such certainty. Because the power to manifest your desires isn't out there somewhere. It's not in some future event or external circumstance. It's right here, right now, within you. You have the power to choose your thoughts. You have the power to direct your focus. You have the power to change your emotional state. And as you do this consistently, as you align your inner world with your desires, your outer world has no choice but to reflect that alignment. So I invite you right now to make a decision. Decide that from this moment on, you're going to live as if your desires have already manifested. Decide that you're going to focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. Decide that you're going to be grateful for what you have, even as you work toward what you desire. Make this decision not just with your mind, but with your entire being. Feel it in every cell of your body. Let it infuse every breath you take. Because this decision, this commitment to a new way of being, is the first step toward manifesting everything you've ever wanted. As you take this step, know that you're not alone. The entire universe is conspiring to help you. Every challenge is an opportunity. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. Every moment is a chance to choose again, to realign. So go forth with confidence, go forth with excitement, go forth knowing that everything you've ever wanted is not just possible, it's inevitable. Because you, my friend, are the creator of your reality. You are the architect of your destiny. From this moment on, you are living in alignment with your highest vision for yourself. Remember, the future you dream of doesn't exist in some far off time. It exists right now in the realm of possibility. And with every thought, every feeling, every action that aligns with that vision, you're bringing it closer to reality. You're collapsing time, bridging the gap between what is and what could be. So don't wait for the perfect moment. Don't wait until you feel ready. The perfect moment is now. You become ready by taking action, by living as if your desires have already manifested. Start small if you need to. Make one different choice today. Choose one empowering thought to focus on. Feel one positive emotion fully. Take one action that aligns with your vision and then do it again tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. Before you know it, you'll look around and realize that your life has transformed. You'll realize that everything you've ever wanted has indeed manifested and you'll understand that it wasn't because of some external force or stroke of luck. It was because you chose to align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desires. This is the true power of manifestation. It's not about wishing for things to change. It's about becoming the person who naturally attracts what you desire. It's about raising your vibration, your energy, to match the frequency of your dreams. Think about it like this. Everything in the universe is energy, vibrating at different frequencies. Your thoughts and emotions are energy too. When you consistently think and feel in alignment with your desires, you're tuning yourself to the frequency of those desires. And like a radio picking up a signal, you begin to attract experiences and opportunities that match that frequency. But here's the key. You have to stay tuned to that frequency. You can't flip back and forth between doubt and belief, between fear and faith. 
you must hold steady in your new vibration, even when your current reality hasn't caught up yet. This is where many people falter. They start to doubt themselves when they don't see immediate results. They let their current circumstances pull them back into old patterns of thinking and feeling. But remember, your current reality is merely a reflection of your past thoughts and actions. It's like looking in a rearview mirror. It shows you where you've been, not where you're headed. To manifest your desires, you must keep your eyes on the road ahead. Stay focused on your vision, regardless of what your current circumstances may be telling you. This takes practice, it takes discipline, but it's a skill you can develop just like any other. Start by catching yourself whenever you slip into old patterns. When you notice yourself feeling doubt or fear, gently bring your focus back to your vision. Remind yourself why you started this journey and reconnect with the feeling of already having what you desire. Here's a powerful tip. Use your body to reinforce this new state of being. Your mind and body are deeply connected. When you change your physiology, you change your psychology. Stand tall, breathe deeply, smile, move as if you're already living your dream life. Your body will send signals to your brain that reinforce your new reality. Another powerful tool is visualization. Spend time each day visualizing your desired reality in vivid detail. See it, hear it, feel it, engage all your senses. The more real you can make it in your mind, the more your subconscious will accept it as reality. But don't just visualize the end result. Visualize yourself taking the actions that lead to that result. See yourself making the choices, overcoming challenges, growing and evolving. This primes your brain to recognize and act on opportunities in your real life. Now, I want to address something that often comes up when we talk about manifestation. Some people worry that focusing on what they want is selfish or materialistic. But here's the truth. When you align with your highest vision for yourself, when you become the best version of yourself, you naturally contribute more to the world. Think about it. When you're stressed, struggling, and focused on lack, how much energy do you have to help others? But when you're thriving, when you're living in abundance, you have so much more to give. Your joy becomes contagious, your success inspires others, and your abundance overflows. So don't feel guilty about wanting more for yourself. Don't apologize for your dreams. Embrace them fully, knowing that as you elevate yourself, you elevate those around you. As you manifest your desires, you expand the realm of possibility for everyone. Now let's talk about action. Some people misunderstand the law of attraction and think they can just sit back and wait for their desires to magically appear. But that's not how it works. Manifesting your desires requires inspired action. The key word here is inspired. When you're in alignment with your desires, when you're operating at that higher frequency, you'll feel inspired to take certain actions. You'll have ideas that excite you. You'll feel drawn to certain opportunities. Follow these inspirations. Act on them even if they seem small or insignificant. Remember, big changes often start with small steps. Each action you take in alignment with your vision builds momentum. It's like rolling a snowball down a hill. At first, it might seem like nothing's happening, but as you keep going, the snowball gets bigger and bigger until it becomes an unstoppable force. So don't wait for some big dramatic opportunity to appear. Start where you are with what you have. Take one small action today that aligns with your vision. Then take another tomorrow and another the day after that. Before you know it, you'll look back and be amazed at how far you've come. And here's something crucial to understand. The path to your desires might not look exactly like you imagined. The universe often has a way of surprising us, of bringing us what we want in unexpected ways. So stay open, be flexible, trust the process. This doesn't mean you should abandon your vision. It means you should focus on the essence of what you want, not the specifics of how you think it should come to you. If you want financial abundance, Focus on the feeling of security and freedom that money represents, not on a specific dollar amount. If you want a loving relationship, focus on the feeling of love and connection, not on a specific person. By staying open to how your desires manifest, you allow the universe to bring you something even better than what you imagined. 
you open yourself up to synchronicities and opportunities that you might have missed if you were too fixated on a particular outcome. Now, I want to circle back to something we touched on earlier, the importance of the present moment. It's easy to get so caught up in manifesting our future desires that we forget to live in the now. But here's the paradox. The more fully you live in the present moment, the more easily your desire will manifest. Why? Because the present moment is where your power lies. It's where you make choices, feel emotions, and take action. The future you're trying to create doesn't exist in some distant time. It's created by the choices you make right now in this moment. So practice being fully present. When you're eating, really savor your food. When you're talking to someone, truly listen. When you're working, give it your full focus. This presence not only makes your life richer and more enjoyable, it also aligns you more fully with the frequency of your desires. And here's a beautiful truth. When you learn to find joy and gratitude in the present moment, you realize that you already have everything you need. Your desires become a joyful expansion of what already is, rather than a desperate reaching for something you lack. This shift in perspective is powerful. It moves you from a state of wanting to a state of having. And remember, the universe responds to your state of being. When you feel abundant now, you attract more abundance. When you feel loved now, you attract more love. When you feel successful now, you attract more success. So, I invite you to make this shift. Start seeing your desires not as something you need to be happy, but as a natural expression of the joy and abundance you already feel. Let your desires be an overflow of your gratitude, not a remedy for your discontent. As we near the end of our time together, I want to leave you with a powerful truth. Everything you've ever wanted is about to manifest, not because of some external force, but because you are about to step fully into your power as a creator. You're about to align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your highest vision for yourself. This alignment is not something that happens once and then you're done. It's a continuous process, a way of living. It's about making choices moment by moment that reflect who you truly are and who you want to become. So I challenge you from this moment forward to live as if everything you've ever wanted has already manifested. Walk, talk, think, and feel as if you are already living your dream life. Be grateful for what you have now and excited for what's coming. Remember, the universe is not testing you. It's responding to you. It's reflecting back to you your dominant thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. So make them good ones. Make them empowering. Make them worthy of the life you desire. And when doubt creeps in, when old patterns try to reassert themselves, don't fight them and don't judge yourself. Simply acknowledge them. Thank them for trying to protect you. And then choose again. Choose your vision. Choose your higher self. Choose love over fear, abundance over lack, possibility over limitation. Because here's the ultimate truth. You are not separate from the universe. You are not a powerless speck in a vast, indifferent cosmos. You are an integral part of the universe, a co-creator of reality. The power that created galaxies and solar systems is the same power that flows through you. When you truly understand this, when you feel it in every cell of your being, you realize that manifesting your desires is not about forcing the universe to give you what you want. It's about allowing the natural abundance of the universe to flow through you and express itself in your life. So open yourself to this flow. Trust in the wisdom of the universe. Trust in your own inner guidance. And most of all, trust in the inevitability of your desires manifesting. Because everything you've ever wanted is not just about to manifest. It's already here waiting for you to step into alignment with it. It's already here, waiting for you to become the person who can receive it. You are that person right here, right now. You have everything you need within you. You are powerful beyond measure, capable of creating a life beyond your wildest dreams. So go forth with confidence, go forth with joy, go forth knowing that as you align with your highest self, as you live in harmony with the universal laws of creation, 
everything you've ever wanted will manifest in ways more beautiful and more perfect than you could have imagined. Your time is now. Your moment is here. Step into your power, embrace your greatness, and watch as the universe conspires to bring you everything you've ever wanted and more. Remember, you are the creator of your reality. You are the author of your story. And from this moment on, it's going to be the most amazing story ever told because it's the story of you stepping into your full power, manifesting your deepest desires, and living a life of joy, abundance, and unlimited possibility. So, let's begin, right here, right now. Let's start this new chapter of your life, a chapter where everything you've ever wanted is not just a possibility, but an inevitability, a chapter where you live each day in alignment with your highest vision for yourself. A chapter where miracles are not the exception, but the norm. Are you ready? Are you willing? Are you committed? Then let's do this. Let's manifest everything you've ever wanted and then some, because you deserve it, because you're worth it, because you are a magnificent, powerful, divine being capable of creating anything you can imagine. And so it is, and so you are now and forever.